Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject Power System Analysis based on KTU syllabus and we are on module 6 and today we are going to discuss the equal area criterion. As we know the tangent stability analysis of simple system can be performed by using equal area criterion. Okay, uh, during the transient state of a power system, uh, we may come across the following two situations for changes in delta. Delta means the torque angle with respect to time. So the uh, first case is the delta, the torque angle may increase to a maximum value and then decrease to a stable value. So in that conditions, we are considering the system as a stable one because it is returning to the uh, stable condition. Okay but the second case will be the delta may keep on increasing indefinitely okay so in this case the, we are considering that the system is unstable okay because uh, we can't predict the value of delta b it is uh, always it is increasing okay so the system will be unstable and the above two conditions okay these two conditions can be written as like this okay as in mathematical terms we can uh, return the stability criterion as below okay so the first condition is the system is stable if d delta by dt is equal to zero at some time instant okay that is uh, d delta by dt is equal to zero at some times and that is we know that it is uh, at the maximum value that is if the curve is like this at this point okay at this top point we uh, know that the variation of the delta okay uh, will be zero okay that is the delta is increasing and it is decreasing okay so if we can find a d delta by dt zero zero condition in this curve uh, we can say that the system is stable okay and the next condition is the system is unstable if d delta by dt greater than zero for a sufficiently long time okay so in that conditions we considering the system as unstable okay so the time we are considering it as one second okay for uh, uh, above that one second if the d delta by dt greater than zero then the system will be unstable okay so if you are considering the sing equation of a generator connected to an infinite bus we know that the sing equation is h by pi f into d square delta by dt square is equal to p m minus p already we have uh, derived the equation sing equation and let there be a change in p that is the electrical power due to a large disturbance okay with but in that conditions we are considering the mechanical input okay p m as a constant okay it is not changing the only change is in the electrical power output p e okay so the difference in okay difference in that p m minus p we are treating it as a p a which is the accelerating power and uh, also we know the per unit value of m okay that is we can replace this h by pi f with the value of m okay the because the per unit value of m is equal to h by pi f we have already uh, seen uh, when uh, we have discussed the dynamics of a synchronous machine in the uh, earlier videos okay so m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pa okay we can replace the sing equation as h by pi f will become m m into d square d, uh, delta by dt square is equal to instead of this pm minus p we are writing it as pa okay so m into d square delta by dt square is equal to pa and d square delta by dt square is equal to pa by m okay so this is a second degree equation and uh, we are going to multiply a term 2 d delta by dt on both sides of this equation okay on both sides so uh, if you are multiplying that term 2d delta by dt what happens okay here it becomes 2d delta, d delta by dt into d square delta by dt square equal to 2 into d delta by dt equal to pa by m okay and uh, from this term okay this d square delta by dt square we know that it is the derivative of d delta by dt okay so uh, we are writing this d square delta by dt square as d by dt of d delta by dt okay that is the uh, second derivative of this delta uh, we get this d square d, uh, delta by dt square and uh, also in the next step okay we are replacing this entire term with this term okay because uh, we know uh, if you are having a differential term that is uh, if you are finding the d by dt of uh, y square okay assume are finding the 
derivative of y square so we can write the derivative will be 2 y into dy by dt okay that we know so here uh, instead of this y we are having this d delta by dt okay d delta by dt so here uh, according to this equation okay the d by dt of d delta by dt square okay which means we are considering that d delta by dt as y so d by dt of y square okay the same condition is here so the equation will be uh, if after the finding the derivative we know that it is 2y into d delta dy by dt so 2y means 2 into d delta by dt okay here 2 into d delta by dt and uh, dy by dt that is d by dt of y that is d by dt of d delta by dt that is d by dt of d delta by dt so we are replacing this uh, entire term okay this entire term with by uh, d by dt of d delta by dt square okay and uh, if you are uh, cancelling that dt term on both sides okay uh, we can write as d of d delta by dt all square is equal to 2 by m p a d delta okay and uh, on integrating on both sides okay uh, if you are integrating this lhs it will become d delta by dt all square the derivative will be cancelled okay on the right side it becomes 2 by m because 2 by m is a constant so 2 by m integral delta 0 to delta okay delta 0 to delta uh, p a d delta okay we know what is uh, delta 0 we have already uh, discussed in the previous videos okay and uh, uh, this is the equation we got okay delta 0 is the initial value of the torque angle or we, uh, that is the or the rotor angle okay and uh, on taking the square root of this equation okay if you are taking this is d delta by dt all square so for finding this d delta by dt we have to find the square root okay we have to find the square root on both sides okay so after taking the square roots we get it as d delta by dt is equal to root of 2 by m integral delta 0 to delta p a d delta okay so for a stable system d delta by dt is equal to 0 okay that we have already discussed that is for this curve that is a stable curve okay stable system this d delta by dt is equal to zero as a point here okay so for a stable system d delta by dt equal to zero at a particular time instant therefore for a stable system the equation can be written as okay root of 2 by m integral delta zero to delta p a d delta is equal to zero because this d delta by dt becomes zero for a stable system okay so this is the condition we obtain okay and this equation is zero if the integral of p a is zero okay because this 2 by m is a constant and uh, if the integral of this p a is zero the entire term will be zero okay so uh, for d delta by dt is equal to zero the term integral delta zero to delta okay integral delta zero to delta p a d delta will be zero okay this term should be zero so for that the integral of p a uh, d delta must be zero okay so integral delta 0 to delta p a d delta is equal to 0 okay this is the equation we obtain okay so uh, based on this equation we can say that the actually the physical meaning okay the physical meaning of uh, integration is the estimation of the area under the curve okay that we know the integration means estimation of the area under the curve okay so hence the integral of p a okay if Uh, this integral of p uh, delta 0 to delta p a d delta is equal to zero which means it is a zero area system okay that is the integral of p a equal to zero refers to a zero area so hence the condition of stability okay and the condition of stability can be stated as the system is stable if the area under p a delta curve reduces to zero at some value of delta okay so this is possible only if the positive area under p a delta curve that is the accelerating area is equal to the decelerating area that is the positive area equal to the negative area okay then only uh, this will be zero okay the area of the curve will be reduces to zero okay uh, and hence this stability criterion is called equal area criterion of stability okay because for 
a stable system okay for the system to be stable uh, that curve the area under the curve okay should be zero so for that the positive area okay should be equal to the negative area okay and the uh, equal area criterion of stability can be applied to any type of disturbances that may occur in a single machine infinite bus bar system okay and the transient stability study for a sudden change in mechanical input using equal criteria okay equal area criterion is presented in this section okay and uh, we will discuss that in the next video okay in the next video we will discuss the transient stability analysis for a sudden change in mechanical input okay so i hope all of you understand the equal area criterion very well so thank you